people are trying to come here to living the Canadian dream, the entrepreneurship, home ownership, being able to create a better future for their kids, better education. So uh, along with that, Anila, can you go over some of the challenges some of those newcomers are facing when they first get here outside of the, um, you know, the language barriers and things like that? So what other kind of, uh, I guess, issues or hurdles do you think newcomers face that we can help to start address? Sure. So, you know, um, yeah, of course, language can be a big barrier and um, um, access to the ability to even interview for a job can be a barrier, right? We still, unfortunately, see systemic discrimination. We still see racism, homophobia, you know, misogyny. We see all of those different things. And um, and there's often uh, newcomers aren't even given the opportunity to, um, they'll apply for the position, but they'll not be able to interview for the position because of their names or because of, you can see their university education where they were educated in yep. a different country or something like that. That can be very, um, of course, is very challenging challenging and um it's it's very stigmatizing right it, it uh, people feel very dejected because they worked so hard to get here and now they're not even able to get an interview to showcase the great skills that they do have right um you had talked about it a little bit earlier you know the the absolute fear of um how their kids are going to grow up are they actually going to do well in school? And beyond that, are they going to forget their home language? Are they going to forget their home, you know, their religion? Are they going to forget the ways of being that that are ancestral? And and what does that look like? And so there's a huge fear of, of not understanding their kids. And from the kids' side, there's a huge disappointment of why don't my parents understand me and why don't I understand my parents? Because my other friends in school are able to Absolutely. understand their parents and vice and versa. I know that... The Center for Newcomers is helping to address a lot of these issues. So if you can walk through us, uh, with us, how, if someone comes to the center, how they're received and how the center helps those people, whether it's, you know, helping with a job or creating a resume and things like that. Um, yes, mm -hmm. please. Sure. So there's multiple ways to, to get to the center. So you can actually just walk in. You can, you know, make a phone call and make an appointment, or you can connect with us through any of our social media channels where you can do a chat, right? And you can chat with somebody on online to get information. So, it, you know, once you come through the door, once you have that connection, um, you will be assigned a settlement worker. That settlement worker will speak your home language most often, um, and that, and they'll walk you through a series of questions. So you might come in saying, oh, I'm really looking for a job. Right. But they will ask you all about that. But then they'll also ask you a series of other questions related to, you know, things you might not really be thinking about. Right. So, you know, because you're so focused on getting a job um, and they're, then they might ask you some questions about your kids. You're like, oh, right. I need to get my kids into after school care if I am going to have a job. Right. So it's kind of that full gambit of all of the different things you're going to need to be able to settle. So um, so from that initial assessment, um, there'll be referrals made within the center. So maybe to an English language class or to an employment training program or, you know, employment counselor. And there'll also potentially be referrals referrals out to other organizations that we partner with as the Calgary Newcomers Collaborative. So, for example, if there's children involved, um, we will refer to the Calgary Bridge Foundation for Youth so that um, some of the programming that's happening in school for the kids, the parents can consent to and the kids can get involved in that if they already haven't been a part of that, right? If there's any other kind of specific needs, say there's a woman that um, feels much more comfortable, the mom feels much more comfortable in a female-only setting, we will make sure that they get a, she gets the appropriate counsellor at the Calgary Immigrant Women's Association so that she gets that um, space in the way that she feels comfortable. Okay.